Mark, Freya, congratulations on your win today. Um, quite a stop start affair. But just from your perspective, how did you see the game today? Um, yeah, I would say so. It probably wasn't useful, helpful. Um, quite a long delay, and we were barely really started in the first half. Um, but the girls managed to keep momentum. We managed to keep them out outside from scoring right up until the last couple of minutes. So um, yeah, positive from us. But I would say it was a bit frantic today. Maybe not not the uh, performance we had last week and the week previous, but it's just something to take. Like We've got the win, so we'll just take it into training on Monday and hopefully have a more positive um, game on Wednesday. Yeah, and for myself, I just go along with our, you know, in agreement, really. And that's something where this team is at, whether you're a player or a coach, we're, we're all on the same wavelength and recognise, you know, where things don't go particularly well and where things, you know, ha where we have improved in areas. Um, so it was a disjointed affair. You know, obviously, we wish um, the opposition players, you know, speedy recovery. Um, but it did obviously rock out sort of fluid, fluid play. How much did that affect you in terms of just how stop start? Because we had a shorter half of rugby in the first half um, and then a bit longer in the second half. Where um, you always would want to play 80 minutes of rugby, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I would say um, many players would agree that half time isn't always a positive thing. Yes, it's a breather, but it's also a couple of minutes where players can lose focus. Um, so it was a long delay and it's hard to keep the girls focused and thinking about the game when you don't know how long you're going to be hanging around for but they did all right I'm happy like our defense was far far better from from last week but our attack could have been been a bit been a bit better been a bit stronger and I think all the girls and, and Mark would agree with me yeah for sure I think where we're in a fortunate place is we have the support from the university with the strength and conditioning guys who are on and the support so it was having a conversation with them really um, obviously when the player was injured how best to manage our own players you know recognising body temperature and lack of focus um, so I turned to them in our instance and left them manage but um, yeah all in all you know we're pleased we march on to the next round this is now you're unbeaten in three games now you're also through to the quarterfinals for the first time uh, in the university's history just how big of a feat is that uh, for yourself as captain as, and as the head coach um after last season it was really nice like obviously we went undefeated in both uh, the cup and the league um and that was a first timer but to continue into this season it was a struggle i mean we were at the bottom of the table up until christmas and i think this new year is really uh, we have been the underdogs and we have shown that we don't belong down there and we want to stay in the league because i think we're more than capable um so yeah it's massive it is massive and it's huge huge uh, confidence boost for all of the girls and us as a team yeah yeah, and you know, as a coach, I, I, I feel fortunate that they, you know we've got a experienced captain in Freya um, that the girls rally around. Um, you know, and when things are particularly tight out, out there or we behind, you know, it's, it's stars that comes through. Um, you know, and sees us good in the end. And to, you know, to be fair, before Christmas we was particularly poor, and I think it was because it was a shock to this standard within this league. Um, but then a bit of self belief, you know, two really good games. This one going forward, and we fear no one. Oh, really? So just uh, looking towards the cup as well, do you think the cup has been a massive help towards after beating King's College and now beating uh, Oxford today, do you think that's going to help you massively in terms of your league ambitions as well? Yeah, definitely. I think um, a victory is always a massive confidence boost, regardless of whether it's legal cup, like it's a game at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep plodding on. We don't want to get complacent though, so it's just important that the girls um, keep their feet on the ground yeah. and just keep working hard and training and we implement that in the game and, and we'll come out with a with a win like we did today, so yeah. Yeah, and I think what people, you know, people see the end product, you know, which is on game day, but these girls particularly, you know, working particularly hard in training, um, you know, on a cold or, or wet night, you're sorry, it's on a Monday night, um, you know, so we're really reaping the rewards from that sort of effort, you know, from training. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you very much.